More time bombs. We found some time bombs. We can undo what has been done. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Swain. We're going to be going back with a control deck playing this uh, champion combination that we have plenty of times before. It's a very good combination. Zillion's going to be making these time bombs. Time Bomb's doing a bunch of damage and leveling up Swain. And of course, the Time Bomb's do Nexus damage as well, which is good for your leveled up Swain, so it can st stun things. We got a couple of different cards in order. We got some Weighted Judgments, trying this out in here for all these Lurker decks, you know, where we can kill like the five and six mana Lurkers with the Weighted Judgment. That should be pretty nice. Spirit Fire will kind of help out our Time Bombs of just doing some uh, additional damage to everything. And then we got a bunch of cheap cards. We got some good blockers and some predict and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get to it. We'll try it out. Zillion Swain. We'll go play five games in ranked. I went with the Noxus board because we have been going to the Shreema board quite a bit. You know, play lots of different Shreema decks. Shreema is a very good region these days. Okay, I'm going to mulligan the Swain and keep the rest. Mulliganing Swain because it... Dies to Culling Strike. And is expensive. I like starting off with the House Spiders. We're looking for ways to kill their champions right now. Got some card advantage. That's true with the Preservariums. That's always important. And I don't mind them blocking with like a champion, like where then I can, you know, trade, you know, like a half a house spider and a death's hand for a Draven. I'm happy with that. This is gonna hurt for you. Okay, so this next round we'll have Death's Hand plus Preservarium. Ooh. I think I'm waiting on you, Flock. Cool. Got the sentry flock combo as well. So they got six cards in hand. I have five, but I do have the Preservarium in play. Right of negation. Perfect. I prefer to have this combo for a champion. Of course, we can uh, just flock the Sump Treasure if we need to, like with an open attack. So we can look for another uh, flock. Alright, so we'll do that. So seven now for Swain. Prefer to have Swain leveled up before we play him. Ooh, 
Again, because of Cooling Strike. Alright, we're drawn two. Weight of Judgment, Zillion. I can challenge, but I don't love challenging and I am superior life form. allowing them to have um, allow, allowing them to have another spinning axe. Sorry. Kind of fortunate. Got so, kind of like normal, it's all about Captain Farron. Really hope there's no Captain Farron. They did, you know, get an additional creative card, so that's the one before the spinning axe is going to be the creative card that costs one or less mana. Yeah, it could be Ravenous Flock for the creative card. That would be something else. So I just played the wrong Swain right there. That's a mistake by me, because now I'm letting them know that I have the other Ravenous Flock in hand, because they know about this Swain. Um, so that that was a mistake by me. I need, I need to play this Swain over here, and so then they don't know about the flock. So now, you know, that's just something they know about. Looks like I'm gonna lose this. Yeah, it looks like I lose this. Unless they play something before open attacking, but I don't know really why they would. I shouldn't have done that. I guess I shouldn't have done the ride negation. If I would have done, yeah. That's game over. I mean, I shouldn't have lost this game. I don't think, but maybe I should have. Basically, I, I had to play the time bomb there, right? Like that's that's what I had to do is play that time bomb. I go time bomb then something else I don't know Ezreal just didn't I didn't keep anything for that Ezreal I like this opening hand double house spider merciless hunter yeah I could definitely see nightfall being difficult nightfall's a very good deck I'm not sure exactly how this is going going to go 
We're gonna have blockers. Bless the people and see at the heritage. Follow the horizon. Gonna save that three life. We were peaceful once. Scrying sense is good. That would have been good to have versus the Ezreal last game. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish. We did judgment can kill a Diana. Face your heretic. I'll take all the trades here. I'm gonna see if they use like a pump spell. Okay, they did. I know I have that scrying sands that could use the Diana right there, but I, I'm just expecting them to have like a pump spell, and I, I want to see if they would actually take all of those trades because. I'll take all those. I was, I was a little greedy, you know, like looking for Pale Cascade, basically. So maybe that was a little greedy by me. What else we got? It's my party and I can scry if I want to. Unseen on the herd, the new Conceals you from our foes. I don't think there's really a follower I need to do 7 2. There's like the 5 3 overwhelms, the scariest thing. just um all right i could definitely see them wanting to play nocturne right like i play this and they want to play nocturne i am going to skip yeah we'll just skip because we're gonna we're gonna draw a swing from the leviathan anyway i kind of want zillion to get some time bombs all right cool then we get to do this Yeah, Sivir is a yeah, Sivir is a beast. <laughs> if Lissandra is not the best champion in the game, it's Sivir, right? I think those are one and two right now. See what I've learned. But yeah, just all those cards were amazing, right? Like the, your typical your your top four Sharima cards that I talk about all the time: Treasure Keeper, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, and Ruin Runner. All four of them were incredible. We got to play against. Um, Draven Ezreal twice, so like the spell shields and stuff were awesome. But the list was really good. I, I really liked the list. Citrus Courier did its thing. Did some good stuff a couple of times. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Beast is always scary. The 
This is going to be a pretty good Spirit Fire round. So we're going to be doing Spirit Fire with the two Scrying Sands. So they know that top card from the Predict, right? So like it was some, some card they really wanted to draw here before combat. And Unto Dusk, that's a great card. So I need to use both Spirit Fire and Scrying Sands on this thing. <laughs> Tick -tock. I didn't know Zillion was also Kesha. Time bomb. Okay, pass the round. Sorry, Leviathan. I'm the most scared of Doom Beast right now. Time Bomb does. So that other card's another copy of the flight. Man, they, man, they are drawing well. Against the control deck, all three stalking shadows. Okay, well that's another two for one. So they got two copies of something. Alright, two mountain goats. Alright, these things are all vulnerable, so just drawing another you're you know like playing like the Leviathan right there isn't that important. But. First, yeah, I want to play the Preservarium first because they're going to just challenge these. Can handle the goats. Not too worried about the goats. So, feel pretty good about this one. All right, another time bomb. Basically, can they drain me out with Doom Beast? I'm giving them a good amount of time.
Wouldn't that have been better for them to just make a sentry? All right, cool. Got another time bomb for the for right here. That's also a good card. I guess by allowing them to keep that up, I let them pill cascade, but that's fine. All right, we'll take that win. One and one. <laughs> Misfortune, Sejuani, Gangplank. So it should be three Misfortune, two Sejuani, one Gangplank. Oh, uh, I think it keeps Swain. Yeah, Swain big. It's a big blocker. Difficult for them to deal with. They do have, you know, like Monster Harpoon and, you know, they'll have Sejuani and stuff like that. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, Second History said that just had an opponent have all their pikes in the first quarter of the deck. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'll go ahead and get the time bombs in right away. And pass. Haven't I been here before? Besides Time Bomb, I wanted um, Ravenous Flock. Spirit Fire could be pretty good. Let's go Chronomancer. Death's Hand? Um, I don't think I want Death's Hand, right? Because I need to kill Misfortune. Death's Hand does pair with the Spirit Fire to do that, but that's just too much mana. I'm just going to skip. Much to look forward to. Our stuff's looking pretty vulnerable. Don't stand in my way. Pretty vulnerable. Got a time bomb. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. It's a lot of damage for Swain, that's for sure. The rest of this isn't so good. I kind of want to play the Spirit Fire right now, but I want to pass and then they play something and then I Spirit Fire, which I guess I can just do. I can just pass because I got blockers for for days. Dangerous waters. <laughs> Probably. Waters seem kind of dangerous. All right, I think that will level up Swain. <laughs> I think that was enough damage. Let me check, 15 out of 12? Yeah, I think that was enough damage. All right, cool, we got Sentry Stun. Is All right, gonna let that die and pass the round, or let's see, do I, I guess I'm playing the other Zillion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let that die, get more time bombs in the deck. Scorched Earth. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. We love it when they run. I was kind of expecting Sejuani right there. But just a merciless hunter. Up 
Maybe I should have let them challenge with the... Like, if I would have done this in response and they would have challenged with the Navigator, maybe I should have just let them do that. I went here so that then they're not doing any damage to the Zillion, but maybe I should have just let them go with the Navigator. I guess I probably should have. Okay, well, wouldn't have worked either way. Because they still would have done that, you know, after my flock. So either either way, whenever I'm casting my flock, that would have would have happened. You think they'd be scared to block with Gangplank? Scared of Ravenous Flock? You're dead meat. I'm gonna cut you. Maybe not. Kuru do not doubt. Maybe not so scared. I'll take my time. Oh man. Bilgewater nab's always really good against You've made your path. um against control. They get our removal spells. Oh gosh, what a beating! Oh, see, why did y'all say they can nab time bombs? I didn't even think about them nabbing time bombs. And then they immediately have a time bomb. Yeah, what a beating. At least we don't have, like, the little vulnerable, very, very small vulnerable thing for their gangplank now, but... Dang, that hurts. Break their legs. Well, I will do the obvious blocks. Happy about this open attack, so I get these blocks. I'm happy with these blocks. I'm very happy with those blocks. Destination in sight. Bring these lands to their feet. Why block with Swain? Because I can get a new Swain and now like a time bomb would kill this or it makes it a lot easier to kill this Gangplank. Now I can like wait a judgment and kill it. Now I'm getting a new Swain anyway. Yeah, Silver Renekton with Bilgewater went 5 and 0. Oh. It was really impressive to, you know, S Silver Renekton, Ruin Runner, a bunch of vulnerable stuff. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. They already had plunder enabled this round because of the time bomb. So like that that's why their uh gangplank is at four. So yeah, they already had plunder enabled. Not as happy about this round. Good Citrus Courier. Fear the power you do not see. Alright, so I have Merciless Hunter and Ravenous Flock right here. If I do play this Gangplank, they can play a new Gangplank. I guess that's kind of bad. I'm not sure what I should do here. I can, like, have Hunter challenge the Sejuani. I'm 
I'll get this thing in play. Just kind of see what happens. He'll die. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. If that would have worked, then we would have had like Merciless Hunter challenge Sejuani, Swain hit them, and then would have also killed Sejuani. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Guess the whisper words. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Draw two. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Ugh. All right, so we attack, we get misfortune ability. I'll ride a negation it. No, they would attack with Misfortune because it would have frostbite. My, like the said, that ability would have frostbite, frostbit my whole team with Sejuani, so it would have been, you know, would have made sense to attack with that. Sentry flaunt combo. All right, cool. We have done what is needed. GG's. Go hard. It's been a minute since we played against Go Hard. Um, I think you kind of always keep flock. Zillion. I like having Zillion and Preservarium. Don't know exactly what we're doing with this Scorch Earth right now, but maybe we can kill a Kindred. So it should be 3 2 1, so 3 Twisted Fate, 2 Elise, 1 Kindred. And that makes sense. Nothing but a stink of blood and sweat. The day don't be riches. I would have led with House Spider if they would have played something else, but since they didn't, I will go grab Merciless Hunter. Now, when am I? Where do you stand? Ooh, Pool Shark early. That could be a Twisted Fate that they just hit. Could be a Twisted Fate. There's nothing to fear. Ah, it was a salvage. Called it, it was something. I've been practicing. I'll skip. It's not perfect. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. Ah, oh, we got the house spider anyway. I was looking for another time bomb to level up Zillion. Speaking of... It's 
allows me to have Merciless Hunter still for uh, Twisted Fate. Okay. More time bombs. I think I'll take Swain. Should be a good Swain matchup. No, it's Zillion. If we can undo what has been done, Zillion's awesome. Can, timekeeper. Let me show you. You won't suffer long. Need some more time bombs. Time bomb just the new go hard. Alright, that's pretty good. More time bombs. Wait. Think we found some time bombs. If we can undo what has been done. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Okay, so we got I'm Merciless Hunters. Which I'm playing a Merciless Hunter this round. Even though I don't love it. That's fine. Now I'm playing House Spider, which is better for me. I know we won't have leveled up Zillion, but we have. What's. Uh, nine more time bombs in our deck? Each time bomb is just incredible. That's fine, we don't really need more zillions, we just need more of these. That's all we need. <laughs> don't need zillion. There's still seven more. So they're at 15. Oh, I got two Rhyme Negations? I guess I was used to playing the last deck, we just had one Rhyme Negation in our deck. So this one, okay, yeah, we have two Rhyme Negations in our deck. Keep them from having more Go Hards. <laughs> that's a really good, that's like a really well designed emote. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Gotta find a gift for an acting. Right, Arda? Embrace life. Expect death. I should throw a 2-1 in front. I don't think they'll have a deny in those regions. Okay. I 
I could take another Chronomancer. I don't really want Chronomancer though, but Chronomancer would just help me find something that I do want. Watch the ball, folks. Nine. We got a lot of awesome draws in our deck. Still, uh, one out of four cards, so 25% of our deck are time bombs. And then we still have like all three Leviathans. We still have all of our Swain, all three Leviathan, all three Swain. So that's so half of our deck is either time bomb, Swain, or Leviathan. That's half the deck. Uh, let's do... Scorched Earth. Taken. So we should be drawing into those. Nope. Leviathan Swains and Time Bombs. Like a fish in water. <laughs> you would think. Arna's gonna make a meal of them. Considering that's half our deck. We haven't drawn it, drawn any of those in a while. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Okay, finally found a time bomb for next round. Because like including the whisper words and everything, it'd been like what, like? I guess it was. I guess it's been 10 cards, because whenever we played that last Time Bomb, we were at 35 cards. It's been t 10 cards, no... Wrap em up tight. Um, no Time Bomb, no Leviathan, no Swain. And those had been 13 out of 35, and we were 0 for 10, so now they're 13 out of 25. That's pretty crazy. Keep them from drawing two. Let's keep them from drawing two. Likely they get to nine right away. I don't change fate, and I can see it. That's four. The card for turn is five. All right, we'll do it now. Yeah, I can get out of hand if you levels, but I don't really want them to play like another twisted fate, right? Like that's that's something I'm worried about. Okay, so what? So there are only kindreds gone. One of their two Elise is gone, two of the three Twisted Fates are gone. Um, I just don't- I can't take ne Nexus damage. Listen to me. Why don't I just do this? Don't touch it! Something for all of you. Alright, so that's the last Twisted Fate. And this is why I couldn't take Nexus damage.
Man, we are really bad. So there's... 60% of our deck is now Zillion, Swain, or Leviathan. 60% of the deck. We are pretty bad at drawing those cards. <laughs> Out of those three cards, they were a third of the deck, and then we drew 15 cards in only one time. All the Twist of Fate's gone, all the Kindred's gone, one Elise left for their only champion. See what I've learned? Okay. Finally got one of those top end cards. Good, love seeing the Doom Beast get tossed. They still have two Go Hards left. <laughs> Swain's at 39. 39 out of 12. Okay, yeah, that was, that was the card they were holding on to. It was Vengeance, that makes sense. Finally. Hmm. If I kill you, I don't fuck you, stupid. Victory awaits. Fear the power you do not see. They have to have something they can block fearsome, and that isn't very likely. I, try. We are at war. I think that should that should be game. Yep. Whew. Man, that was a long game, but our three zillions did their job. Gave us lots of time bombs. Remember this day. And eventually we found Leviathan and Swain to finish the job, eventually. <laughs> Oh no, Sivir Zed. We gotta play Sivir and the Spell Shield. This is going to be difficult. We'll send Leviathan back. We'll keep 2-2-3. Two, two, um, Weight of Judgment can kill a Ruin Runner if we get rid of the Spell Shield first. Time Bombs go underneath Spell Shields. So they, don't, they don't get rid of the Spell Shield. They just do the damage underneath, just like Blighted Ravine. Yeah, Scrying Sands is a good spell shield remover. Unfortunately, they have the attack token round three, so they got Zed on three. They get to attack with Zed immediately on three. Quick hands make quick work. Uh oh. Steady now. They got the one mana champion. <laughs> Haven't I been here before? We made it, Rim! I wanna go home! Make haste! We love it when they run! Okay, so this doesn't give them an easy challenge on the 1 4. Okay, or I guess it was an easy challenge. Thanks, Flock. Thanks for being late like normal.
So, of course, I wanted to have Hunter for Sivir. They played that. All right, Chronomancer time. What do you got me? I think Scrying Sands could probably be useful. Good at busting up a spell shield. Yeah. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Sun's beneath me and wind's behind me. Hmm. Playing the three one into the time bomb. Interesting. Oh. interesting, I'd have to say. Haven't really wanted them to. See, haven't really seen them want to play Sivers or Ruin Runners. That's probably fine. I was thinking about just playing the Merciless Hunter on the Young Witch. That would still give me f 7 mana, so I'd still have Sentry, Flock, but not enough for Judgment also. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Hmm, maybe just do this. I wonder if Weighted Judgment would have been better. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of saving, like, the, you know, Scrying Sands plus Weighted Judgment to kill a Rune Runner. Kind of saving that. Whoa. That's not bad. Not sure if I should flock the four one. I don't want to take the five damage. So I could, if I flock the four one, we keep this three two alive. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm in there. And then we'll have Hunter on Young Witch. Gonna find a gift for an Acton, right, Arda? I don't know why I want to just play that first. Main question is what to challenge with the Young Witch. You know, like thinking like they could have plus three plus one card. Oh, they're playing Concussive Palm. They could have the plus three plus one and save it. So maybe I should do this instead because of that. So I don't want them saving the Young Witch. Yep. I'll just go here. I don't want to have my 4-3 trade with X. I may need my 4-3. If they go plus 3, plus 1 here, I may need my 4-3 to block Fearsome. Yeah, that's true. If they would have had Will of Ionia, that would have been worse. Okay. 
again, basically getting a card out of their hand for no value right there, so I'm happy with that. Like, a, no card spent by me. Now, that's obviously a problem. Because they, so the attack with the 3-2 is really smart because then it forces me to block, so now it gives them priority again, so then if they have the double attack card, then that's game over. And that's what I think is kind of the likely thing right here. And that's too bad. Weight of Judgment, why are you slow speed? Or I should have just used the Weight of Judgment on that a lot earlier, I guess. Like, I... Need to use Weight of Judgment on that thing and not save it for a Ruin Runner. So yeah, good showing for the deck. You see there why slow speed spells can be a problem. Maybe whenever I saw like how much they kept protecting that that one two elusive, um, you know, protecting like it with the deny everything like that. Maybe I need to use that Judgment a little or the Weight of Judgment a little earlier. Um. But yeah, so we went three and two. Good winning record. The two that we lost were really close. You know, could could maybe have been wins if we sequenced differently. But you know, hindsight's always a lot easier to play than in the moment. <laughs> you know, um, but it was competitive, very competitive. Um, our my opponent. It's unfortunate to lose that game. Like that's one that really feels bad to lose when my opponent had no Zed, no Sivir, no Ruin Runner, and we still lost. And so that's a that's not good but um you know this the spirit fire performed well weight of judgment really didn't perform very well but it's it's better against um lurkers i guess and you know if they did have their own runner if we can take out the spell shield first but it it really performed poorly it was basically just do two to a cha two to a champion was like the only things that i ever played it with i guess so it wasn't I think they're like we could play five other games and Wade Judgment could look a lot better. But those specific games that we played, it it was uh, a much much worse than just like any of the three mana Noxus cards, where there's you know like tons of different three mana Noxus removal cards or Quicksand. Oh man, Quicksand would have been great to have. I wonder if Quicksand's kind of the thing to do. Quicksand's very good against Sivir. Again, you need to take out the spell shield first. But anyway. Weight of Judgment levels up, Swain. Quicksand doesn't. Anyway, Zillion was awesome. Time Bombs were awesome. Zillion was awesome. Really, really like this card. All right, so that's going to be it here for Zillion Swain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the updated Zillion Swain list. Got any ideas, anything like that, let me know. Um, Chronomancer, very good. That was nice having Chronomancer and House Spider early. That was definitely good. All right, but that's it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.